gonna crack it on. Luckily, the oil filter <laughs> took the brunt of the uh, impact. I was, I, he was upset though, because I said, because I said, I, I said to him, I said, oh no, Chris, there is some damage when it fell out of hand. <laughs> and he went, he went, oh, what is face? And I went, your genuine greddy oil filter, <laughs> it's got a scuff on it. That's a forty quid oil filter. These things you won't need anymore, is that right as well? These all go? So I've ordered a couple of things like for oh, Elite Rotary. I've got one of these. I've already bought one from okay. Elite Rotary, so like little plates and shit yeah, like that. So. Yeah. But that's them. Um... So yeah, I've got that plate. I've got the plate that goes on the emissions plate there. Yeah. Um, or the plate. Yeah. Which you've probably got anyway. Yeah, I've got, I bought the radium stuff. Oh yeah, you're planning. In the car, oh, the in the van. van. Yeah. yeah. Mate, look at that for a bit of kit. How long have you been doing this for? You're not old enough, are you? Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you ask yourself, that's when you know you're getting old. <laughs> I stopped there because I was on a Pexi. For where you want to go, the Apexi unfortunately just doesn't seem the route. The technology's moved forward, so yeah. you've got much more control. I mean, how old is an Apexi? 10 minimum years? Two minimum? Years. 22 years? Like yeah. Oh, wow, okay, uh, okay. I'll rephrase, the technology is 22 years. Yeah. The thing is, I suppose because you want to go... It depends what you want out the engine, where you go in. Well, because you're updating so much on this block, I suppose it only makes sense that the main management to run all the mechanical parts is up to date with everything else that you're doing. It just makes sense. Um, yeah, you're going pre -mix again, aren't you? <laughs> So how does so how does that work then? So I've because I've only ever seen you two go to a fuel station and use E5 accelerate and just go right that's in. Where does this I mixture oil? oil so where does it scavenge that oil from? The sump. The, oh, so it does use yeah. the some. Yeah, oh, yeah. sorry. I thought you have to use like another separate reservoir of oil. You can. And that mixes with well, the petrol. No. So these bits here, that's where the oil gets injected. Yeah. Into those lines. Into oh, which you just said. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you put it in with the injectors and the fuel, you get a much better spread across the entire chamber, rather than you ending right. the line. Ah, uh, so. and you said you bought a kit which bolts on a little feed I've only, that oil. I've only got the delete kit, so like the plates and stuff like that. Right. So, okay. Other than that, I just need to run pre -mix. So can you literally say if you like use filter car at fuel? Like Red X, could you literally get some oil and literally just then pour it to your? You could do it that way. Yeah, yeah that's is, is that what you're going to do? And do you have to you do that? Ratios and stuff. Do like you that. do that every so amount of mileage? Do you do it with? Every time you fill up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Okay. I guess you do. You work out your ratios per litre and then go from there. I guess I don't know. So whatever you put in, you it's just work. About approximately a hundred mil per litre. Yeah. Come off the customer's car that. Yeah. Went for one of my baffles. Yeah. Um, the baffle goes in between here and there. Yeah. Um, that's the one I use. Yeah. Or the one I get made, I rephrase it. Yeah, you can see. That's where the oil pickup is. Yeah. So it's not as bad as I was expecting. No. So it literally sits on the pad, so it gets a good feed all the time. It wasn't a debt, it was literally just water seal failure. Mm. I think. Because it was getting cool and out of the spark plug. <coughs> was it just spark plug one, wasn't it? Or was it all of them? I think it was just one of them. It was, it was number one, top bank, wasn't it? On the first chamber? Uh, I'd say it's front row. Yeah. That should just be a gasket, and that's it. Yeah, yeah I mean, there so is a gasket get... there, I think. Yeah, I see it. So yeah. there. Yeah, um... He's used an arc plate. Is that normal? Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is... Oh, no, this is a... Light model. Okay, so... You use the light model gasket. Um, which this bit's supposed to go flat across there. Yeah. But he put this seal in here. Yeah. Which you use on the early model ones with a little O-ring inside it. Um, so we might find the O-ring somewhere in the other system. But if you put a metal gasket on it, you can put that there and then clamp it across there. Just to know where, well obviously Chris has obviously, what he's done is like, you know, findings of all this sort of stuff. And you can, at least you can tell me what to do, where to go, what to buy, Yeah. You know. Knowledge is, um, knowledge is what we're after really today, isn't it? Said you've had this car 10 years, but you're only now really learning the ins and outs of the engine, like how it generally works, what's better to put on it compared to what it was stock. Ever since I got it back though, it was like, running like shit. Yeah. Too rich. Road map as well, wasn't it? Just a generic. Generic map. Yeah. Swarf? No. It's just filled up with dirt. So yeah, that's just where it's not been serviced regularly at some point, it's like we're not cleaned properly. Yeah. So that stuff is, is what's gone through the pump, which has then put scoring on it. Yeah. Um, but what I do, part of, an extra part of the porting is we clean this up yeah. to give a much smoother flow. Yeah. Um, again, there's a seal there, which is dead. Yeah. But you should never put... Oh, he's put sealant on it. So you've got a seal there that you replace, and then the seal there that you replace. No, it's just if it was earlier than that, these were too tall. Yeah. Because they're only... They stretch bolts. They're like 39 newton meters or something like that. So you reuse them. It's companies like ARP or whatever, do they um, do upgraded? Stud bolts and uh, stuff like that. I don't see the point of doing upright stud bolts if no? you're going to keep them this size. So if you okay. do 10 mil stud bolts, but these are actually 9.7 for factory. So close, isn't so it? So I don't see the point. No. Um, because you're not trying to stop it going this way. It's not going to go this way. It's going to twist. So by putting that in, it's not going to do anything, which is why I do the half inch studs. Yeah, I noticed those. Uh, that's why I was asking. Are they? I do that. Are these? So are these like aftermarket? Because yeah, I noticed obviously these are aftermarket. So they're quite nice. That um, the entire block has to be machined because they're tolerance. Right. Um, but it stops the engine twisting, which is the whole point. Because of the way the rotor ro rotates, it. Well, it, yeah. So that's where the twist comes because of the torque. Right. Um, but by doing the half inch studs, you're taking up all the space around here, so physically the engine cannot twist. That's it why you've got so many around there. It, it's going to twist 15, 16 bolts, so it's not going to do that. Yeah. So yeah, but that's why I don't see the point of the 10 mil stud kit. No. Is that we probably need it. Okay, so we are. Please be good. No. Oh. So what's up with the... What is it that we were worried about with this? The height of this. It's so high. That you might not you're not gonna be able to make yeah, it any bigger. You're not gonna be able to do anything. You've got flat springs in the rear as well. Broken fan seal. Oh yeah. Yeah. And yeah, clearance is supposed to be. That's big clearance, isn't it? Point. 0 0.05, 0 0.005 to So you should have to move that. You, you need to be able to move it, but... 0.005, is that why? I'd say that's about 0.2. So is that why you're getting coolant in your... No, plate? this is compression. Right, oh, okay. Not... So in the water seals that will be used... Well, it's not silicon, so that's nice. 
Have they mastered well, series? Still, no, these aren't master series. Why were they supposed to be? I think he said he stated he uses all genuine master OEM cells. Not master. Hmm. Okay, so this is going to have to be replaced. That's oh, right, there you go, sir. So, oh, it's an orange. Oh, God, yeah. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> so he's, he's stung you, mate. We'll call him Mr. X because I don't, well, as I say, I don't want to shame, I don't want to yeah. shame people, but Mr. X has kind of done you over a bit. Centre plate is usable. There's nothing quite like looking at a, a, a rotary engine. I just think they're beautiful, which sounds silly. But no, they're just a pretty. Corners. Oh wow! Corners. Where are they from? Are they from the rotor. Yeah. So, is the housing all right? Seems to be. Yeah. yeah. Would you um, expect a lap from that? I, I just, wouldn't bother. Just, no. 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 Yeah, there's no chatter marks. There's no nothing on there. Um, the only thing I've got to check is there, because I don't know if that's missing. If you were like, no, it doesn't need doing, but I recommend it, then I'd rather get it done if it's recommended, mm. you know? I, I personally am not a fan of having the housings lack machined. Okay. Um, because I, I can make 700 horsepower with that bit. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it speaks for itself, doesn't it? And I don't know. I can't categorically say that they're machined flat or anything like that and that's where you, if you're taking away from here grinding away on this I understand it's only a small amount but we're only working with small amount of tolerances yeah. so we don't want to enlarge the combustion zone and stuff like that. Yeah that's it, we basically stop so that's why I say that's fine. So why is it, just to get my understanding, why is it that you would keep this pretty much as stock, but this is enlarged? Because what's what goes in that bit? Uh, that's the secondary uh, secondary air side, or secondary runners. And what's the job of this centre one here? Uh, that's the primary. So that's the smaller runners, smaller fuel injectors. Hence why you don't need as much fuel so in. You don't need as much fuel, but obviously when we port it, we go bigger. As well as this go bigger as well. So this this goes bigger again. Is that right? Uh, and then this would that match it. Better. That gets a better shape. To it. Okay. So that's not salvageable. I would say not, as we stand in the way. That's the problem. So what we're we looking at here then? Are these? So it's next where the, the coolant seal's gone. <laughs> yeah. It's soaping, isn't it? Absolutely sopping wet. Frank, okay? Seems to be. I'll have to detail it. Yeah. Another non genuine fucking master casket. And it's split. Yeah, so you can. And I have, for my own engines, use Viton O ring. So you can make your own O rings. Um, but so, like the gasket maker style stuff? Yeah. But I don't put any customs engines. Wow, that's an estate, isn't it? Corrosion on that, is that normal? Like it's only on the. So, that was due to water seal failure? I'd, yeah, water got in somewhere. And then Got a fine wear. There. Ah, fucking hell. So now that could. That is a failure. Um, that could be caused because of the O ring that was used. Well, it. I assume this split, that was. That's how you've just pulled it out, isn't it? And that's supposed, that's yeah, not the, supposed to be split. Plate. The plate. So oh, it's actually got, sorry, I didn't see that. Plate. So I don't know. So that's allowed coolant to get in past the seal, yeah? Yeah. Which the seal has exploded. That's, I can kind of see it on there. 
So is that due to um, it is a common corrosion? Failure. That corrosion sort of based? It's a common ish failure on them. Oh, okay. But I can't categorically say if the engine was built like that or not. Right, okay. But when you look at the gasket or the seal that he's used. It doesn't sit very well? No. Well, it doesn't sit very well. But it matches up and that's longer. It's <coughs> longer, sorry? This bit here? Well, yeah, that's blown in. Oh, sorry, that's not actually meant to be the shape of the... No. So, oh, so that's meant to be continuous? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought that was actually just the design of the... No. Oh, wow. So that's so, blown in, because the casting's yeah, yeah, gone. I mean, they do so blow that, out there because the casting's gone. But what I'm saying is, there's the, there's the join there. And it's butted up, isn't it? So I can't see how... That extent. So it was never built sort of correctly in the first place, is that what you're saying? Or? Mm. Well, that's due I, to uh, the I engine would, running. It, over time, would it would have... Never have... Say that. <laughs> no comment. But again, that one sits in there correctly. And then this one doesn't. This one would be oversized. And actually, if you look at that, that's round. That's fine. So it got built like this. Unbelievable. Comment. No. Are you upset? Is what it is, mate. Yeah. Just got to deal with it. So does that mean that this rear plate, sorry, front plate, is also it's, it's, not salvageable? It's gone, mate. Yeah. It's gone. So your centre one is good. Possibly. Possibly after inspection. So both housings are okay. Uh, I've got to double check. Both rotors, hopefully, should be alright. Both right. rotors look to be okay, yeah. So the crank should be alright, hopefully, like the inspection. inspection. Yeah. Then, so is it just front plate, rear plate? Looks that way. Initial inspection, housings are okay. Yeah. Um, Sent plate, slightly worried. Because we've got what on the scoring. No, um, we've got some rust. Would it have also produced any issues where that seal just there was pinched out and that plate would sit on that? Sorry, that housing would sit on that. Would that cause an issue to the housing? Uh, that's what I've just had a look at, so that's why I say I've got to fully double check it. But they're generally okay. Right, okay. Good news. That's my concern there, where there's a bit of rust. Did you say a lap? Yeah, it, the problem you can get is it can get underneath the surface. And I actually had one a while ago that looked was perfectly fine, plates absolutely fine. And then it was um, leaking oil or burning oil when it shouldn't be. He's been off-roading that. In under a cover. Quite a cool race spec FB. Don't want to take too much of the cover off this customer's car, but what a cool, cool car. Also hidden. RX2. Just sat there. Ha, ha, ha.